Hey viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Saga The Darkest Dawn. New user tip, don't think of it as being outnumbered, think of it as having a wider target selection. Pretty sure we had that one before. Well, last time we had the biggest collection of fighters and bombers and capital ships I've ever had the pleasure of flying with. That was a blast. And this time, I have no idea. Thank you, Sweeney. Thank you, Sweeney. Good morning, gentlemen. I hope you got the celebrating out of your system last night because we're back on the job. The brass is being pretty hush-hush about future plans, but in any case, we need to resupply before we can initiate the next phase of our campaign. Within the hour, the light carrier Oriskany will be jumping into Alcor on her way to deliver the fighters HQ is sending our way. Captain Moran wants to send in an escort from the Hermes to meet the Oriskany in Alcor and make sure it arrives safely back here. Unfortunately, with the heavy losses our bomber squads have taken over the past few weeks, we are down to only three fully operational jump-capable war craft. The rest are medical miracles. Sandman, Honey Bear, and Avatar, you will be Alpha Flight. You will depart from the Hermes and enter the jump point at Nav 1. Once in Alcor, you will set course for Nav 2, where you should rendezvous with the Oriskany. You will then escort her back to the jump point and finally back to the Hermes. Oh boy, this isn't going to be good. Because every time we have a really huge win, we then have a really huge loss, so... I don't know if we're going to get our fresh ships after all. You are cleared for launch. Am I in command of this wing? I totally am. Awesome. Oh, my head. Just wait till we hit jump tramp at Pink Dudley. Oh, remind me. <laughs> Proceed to next waypoint. Oh man, I hope Avatar and Honeybear make it through this. We haven't really had a lot of major losses from the voice actor, voice acted people, I don't think. Eight ball. Hmm. Well, let's get this over with. Initiate jump sequence. Bet this is gonna hurt Avatar's head like no one's business. Head explodes, and end of Avatar. don't jump into a, you know... Uh-oh. That's some good music if I've ever heard some. Back to Alcor. wonder how messy it's going to be when we finally get to the carrier we're escorting. Okay, dude. Jump sequence complete. Welcome to Alcor. Everything intact, Sandman? Yeah, shields, weapons, power systems checking out, all systems green. I was actually referring to fingers, toes, uh, other extremities. Uh, I guess. I just know one of these days I'm gonna come out on the other side of a jump a little less complete than I went at. Anyway, let's set course for the rendezvous point. You know, Avatar, I wonder why you hadn't asked me if I was okay. You don't got much to lose. Proceed Ouch. to next waypoint. So, two ways to take that. Could be honey bears flat as a board. And I've offended people again. Hmm. Honey bear, avatar, the Oriskany isn't here. Military intelligence strikes again. You think she's just late? Maybe. Let's start turning over some rocks, dude. Well, where should we start looking? Always start at the source. Set course for Nav 3. We're headed to the Vega jump point. Proceed to next waypoint. Okay. Let's fly into a carrier rubble field. I guess debris field would be better. I don't see anything out there. A whole lot of nothing. Let me have a few seconds to plot up a search pattern. Sandman broadcast a wideband hail. We might as well go ahead and let all of Alcor know that we've, in our infinite wisdom, misplaced a whole carrier. TCS Oriskany, this is... Whoa, here she is. Better late than never, I guess. 
Oh, thank God. Longbow unit, stand by for a jump point action. Oh, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, dude. We're from the Hermes. What's the big hurry? That's the big hurry. Got yeah, sitting entirely clear to Vega. I had to open my big damn mouth. You can do me a favor by keeping it shut. All right. Some, these things are not made to intercept bombs. Oh boy. Protect my target. Cover my target. Roger that. We'll comply. Watch out. Bogey on your thick. Yeah, well, not a lot of time for that. Some FIFs. Ow. Yeah, taking some serious beating here. Squad of arrows? How's that possible? You're carrying over half the Hermes complement on your decks. Having the planes is one thing. Having the pilots is another. This was supposed to be a milk run after all. We can all blame someone later. Those cats are closing in. We are launching our arrows now. There's no such thing as a milk run. Hermes Longbows, this is Major Dixon. We'll give you some cover. You take the big boys, we'll keep the fighters busy. Big boys? What big boys? Engines of full flank! The destroyer squadron's on our heels! Wait a sec, did you just say destroyer squadron? <laughs> okay. Damn it, I'm just gonna take my cake hole shut. Thank God, you're killing my ears. Hey, that lead ship, it's a new model. One of their new heavy destroyers, armed to the teeth and as tough as they come. Let's burn that big bastard. Open fire on my target. Rod Watch out. He's right behind you. Yeah, but... Headbutt. Boom. Okay. So. Oh, wow. This is going to have to be fast, isn't it? I don't think this guy really knows what escort means. Shield up. That is a lot of freaking firepower I'm taking. That's one down, dude. Unfortunately, it's only one. Plenty of fuel left. I can keep this up for a while at least. Thank you. It's already in hitting range for the Ariscani. I've got to take this thing down. Pull back. I'm going to finish this up. 
Roger that. We'll comply. Man, that thing was a tough nut to crack. Open fire on my target. Yeah, but it's cracked. Time for the small fries. Lock it onto your target now. You guys are launching way too far out. Torpedoes. Hopefully, we don't have anything else to fight. Oh, that should be the end of that. But I can't do an orbit. There he goes. Time. Force can hit your backside is free and clear. Nice work, Longbows. We're going to retrieve our fighters now so we can jump as soon as we hit the jump point. Cover us on the way in. We don't want any more nasty surprises. It was a pleasure doing business with you folks. Can do, Orithkini. Sandman, initiating link up and ready to set course for the Cairo jump point. Shock Dingo? It's gotta be one of the best names ever. Whew. I'm still got half fuel. I can afford to have to burn back to this thing. There's no such thing in Wing Commander as a milk run. At some point, someone will figure this out. And again, just missions like this boggle my mind at the kind of forces, the numbers that Kalrathi have. They just lost four light destroyers and a new super awesome design. So, it seems to have cost them nothing, because they're just going to throw more at us next time. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. Oh boy. Wait, why are you smoking, Ariskany? You're at 94%. You're pretty much pristine condition. You lost some paint. That's about it. Engine's all still intact. At least this jump point should be clear. Initiate your jump sequence, Longbows. See you on the other side. Well, once more, I'll risk my digits. Here we go. Aw, oh, it doesn't show the carrier jumping as well, but... What are you gonna do? Everyone in one piece? Three longbows go in. Three longbows come out. The William Tell Squadron has got a lot of kills to their name at this point. Oh, man. I am so glad I skipped breakfast this morning. All hands, secure from jump stations. Sandman, re-establish our link up and let's get home. I've had about enough fun for one day. You're too fast. I can't catch up. Slow down. Slow down. 93%? What happened? Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. Whew. I'm sure they called ahead to the Hermes. Let them know that they were pursued. Yeah, and there's the Ariscani. Light carrier number 46. Whew. 
Good news. Good news. Good news. Come on. Yes. Mission complete. Hermes, this is William Tell Alpha. Mission complete, and we've brought a friend. Nice job, lieutenants. Our flight deck is really looking forward to getting those new birds. Any trouble? Well, same old, same old. Jump in, find the objective, tangle with the cat's new heavy destroyer, save the day. You know, the usual. <laughs> wow. You'll have to tell me about these recent exploits sometime, oh savior of the Confederation. Right now, though, I'm going to have my hands full getting these new fighters on board. You're cleared to land. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of paperwork, I bet. Save for the Confederation. Tell it would eventually go to Blair, of course, for, well, saving the Confederation. Spoilers for a 10-year-old game. Galahad 301, I switched to Hermes Control. Frequency channel 49 Charlie. Have a nice day. Hermes Control, Galahad 301. Downwind pattern to visual approach. Three down and locked. Full stop. Galahad 301. Clear to land. Glad to see those new fighters. They're beauty. Plenty more where these came from. You three have been like gold to this squadron. Even you, Avatar. Captain Moran and Colonel Walker are both very pleased that you were able to get the Ariskany here in one piece and take out that destroyer squadron at the same time. Sending out that carrier overloaded with fighters without pilots was, in hindsight, not the best idea anyone has ever had. Confed controlled systems or not, we really needed those fighters to give the Hermes a fighting chance in the days ahead. Looks like that new destroyer you ran into is no joke. Intel has already codenamed this so-called heavy destroyer as the Ralaxith class. From your gun cameras, it's stronger, faster, and more nimble than their light destroyers and has a lot more guns. If this ship is mass-produced, and I don't see any reason why they wouldn't, it will make life more interesting for all of us. But look at it this way. It's a whole new target for us to destroy. In addition to all these fighters, I hear they're bringing in additional longbows to get the William Tells back to full strength and then some. Better yet, all surviving Black Widow pilots will be officially joining our squadron as well. We'll limp along until then, but Confed Intel has reported that Kilrathi forces in the surrounding systems have actually decreased over the past several weeks rather than increase. It's a strange development, but it also means we might not be seeing any bombing action for the next few days. I'll let you know of any developments. Until then, dismissed. What, not even a word about my promotion to Captain? Captain! What if I get... Oh, by the way, for... I mean, I'm sure if you're a Wing Commander fan, you know, but... Those new fighters that were landing, the Excaliburs, are amazing. And I'm looking forward to flying one of them. Maybe next mission. Or maybe we'll still be with the William Tells. Either way, viewers... New Heavy Destroyer. Boo. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Wing Commander Saga The Darkest Dawn. See you then.